Hey guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to just do a quick little tutorial on how to use the Infantino Baby Carrier. Now, I am a little bit obsessed with baby ring. I have about 10 baby carriers. My husband thinks I'm crazy. I have used a lot of wraps and slings for when my son was littler. And then now that he's coming up on the six month mark, he's starting to really enjoy more of the style of carry that has straps and I can actually put him on my back. Now that he can support his head a little bit better, I have been liking this Infantino carrier quite a bit. With the wraps, their head is more secure because you can kind of tuck them in the, the panel that goes down your shoulder and it's a lot more secure for newborns. But this Infantino carrier, the this part that comes up to their head doesn't come all the way up, so if they don't have a lot of head support, it wouldn't work as well for that. I think there is something that you can buy that attaches to this that comes up a little further and kind of supports their head a little bit more. But I'm just going to show you how to do the front carry with this. You can either face them in or out, and I personally prefer them facing in because I feel like it is a little more comfortable for their hips. So depending on what you're going to do, there's these little snaps down here. This is down where their butt is going to be. And so if they're facing in, you're gonna have these attached like this. And if they're facing out, you would take, you would unhook this and then snap, and then snap these two things together. I'll show you with it on. So how I like to do it is it has this strap here that goes around your waist. And I just turn it like this and then buckle it around and it snaps in the back. And you can adjust it for however you need. And then you can see that all this is hanging down here and there's these two straps that go over your shoulders. Just take them and put them over your shoulder like that. There's also a buckle that's in the back that I just reached back here and stand up real quick. So now it is on and pretty much ready for you to put your baby in. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust it for whether or not they're gonna be facing towards you or facing out. So I'll just snap this up here so that it's out of the way and you can see what I'm doing. So this is how it would be with, their, with them facing you so that this supports their knees so their knees are higher than their butt, which is really important for psychological baby wearing. It's a lot more comfortable on their hips and their back if their knees are higher than their butt. And that's really important because it can cause problems like hip dysplasia later on if you don't wear them correctly. And that's another reason that I prefer to have them facing in. So if your baby doesn't like to be facing in, they want to be facing out and seeing what you're doing, then you just take, you can see it has these little buckles right here. You just undo these on each side. And then you take these two flaps and buckle them right here. So you can see there's more room for their legs to be out like this. So I'm gonna show you how to put them in facing in first. Here's my baby. This is Demetrius. He is about six months old and he loves to be on me all the time. <laughs> so to put him in, I'm just going to lift him up on my shoulder like this, like I'm gonna burp him. And then I have this hand free to kind of help his legs go through. So I'm just going to put this leg through here first, and then this leg through this side. Make sure they're going through. And then I'll just kind of start slowly lowering him down, and then now he's in. So then you take this part and you support with this hand on his back. And then I like to have his arm lower than this strap. You just buckle this right here. And then this side, same while I'm supporting him with his hand so he doesn't fall, I take this buckle and buckle it right here. So now he's in and really secure. And so you can see that his knees are higher than his butt, which is really important. I've seen a lot of people not wearing these car carriers correctly and they have these flaps buttoned in the middle like I showed you how you're supposed to have it for them facing out. And that makes it really uncomfortable for their hips. So make sure that you have these flaps buckled out for this kind of carry. So this is just super comfortable for him. I really like this carrier for if we're going hiking because there's just a lot of airflow. It's not as closed in as a wrap. There's not as much fabric all over me. This is my favorite for hiking. And it's also really nice for breastfeeding. If you want to breastfeed your baby in this carrier, you can just take these straps right here and I'm just going to pull, pull this strap and kind of loosen it a little bit and this one too and that kind of drops them down lower and then you can open up your shirt and attach them to your breast and breastfeed really easily like that. 
I do that a lot while we're hiking. That way we don't have to stop and sit until he's done. He can just rest while we're on the way. When you're done, you wanna make sure you tighten these straps up again. And you wanna make sure that you do your safety checks even with this. You wanna make sure they're close enough to kiss. You also wanna make sure their airway is not restricted. So I wanna be able to see his nose and mouth at all times and know that he's breathing and not suffocating on any of the fabric or straps. And then the last thing I keep an eye on is his knees being higher than his butt. So that's how you carry them facing you. So I'm gonna take him out and show you how to put him in facing out. So to take him out of this carry, you just, I'm just gonna support him with this hand down here and unbuckle this one and then support him with this hand and unbuckle this one like this. So now I'm just gonna grab under his arms. Oh, there you go. And then just lift him out. I'm gonna put him over my shoulder and kinda make sure that his legs are free so I don't jerk on his legs. And then I'm just gonna lay him over here. So again, for the front carry, you're going to unbuckle these. And then you snap these right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna go get him and put him in facing forward. So I have him facing out. I'm gonna support his stomach. I set his butt on my chest and I have him supported with his hands so he's not gonna go anywhere. And then I guide his legs through the same way as with him facing towards me. And I just kind of lower him in like this. And then I'm going to support him while I do these buckles. So for forward facing, you can see this is kind of bothering his face. So there's this snap right here and here that you can snap these together so that it doesn't bother him. Now he has a lot of room to look around. But again, I don't wear him like this hardly ever because I can't get his knees higher than his butt and I don't like how this is just dangling his legs. So to take him out, I'm just gonna support under his butt with this hand and then unsnap. I'm gonna switch hands, unsnap this. <laughs> He's trying to eat it, no! <laughs> and then I'm just gonna lift under his arms and lift him right out and now he's out. So that's how you do the facing towards you and facing out carries. I do really like this carrier. It's not super high quality. It's it's really affordable on Amazon. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a carrier like this, it's a good option. I do very much prefer something like an ergo carrier, but those can be really pricey. So again, I only do the facing towards me carry just so those hips aren't getting hurt. And then also the forward facing one isn't really great for if they fall asleep because then their head would just like hang forward. So I'm not a fan of the carry where they face out, but that's how you put this on and put your baby in. It's really simple. It is a lot simpler than a wrap and you don't have to do all the wraps and ties and different things. So if that is daunting to you, this is a really good option. It's just very simple and easy to use. I will link my baby wearing playlist down below. So if you want to see any tutorials on other baby carriers or wraps or slings or woven wraps or anything like that, you can go check it out. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.